Hello, and welcome to the final part of the Gundam Overview, Part 7. Now, I've gone through most of the timelines so far, all of the uh, series that have actually aired. Um, right now is just the final part. This is mainly advertising, so if you're a Gundam fan, uh, you might want to listen, but otherwise, you know, it's all up to your choice. On my website, which is featured on my channel, I have... Uh, I started a Gundam RP like last year back in August and it has done pretty well so far I would say it's really good story-wise I think any Gundam fan should uh, visit my site and try and sign up when when the uh, current series ends because we're gonna be starting up another one soon we're gonna have a free-for-all chapter so that might be good for anyone to stop by of course but um, Behind the scenes, it really was just, uh, I started on Koei Warriors, basically, and I started, uh, uh, posting in the, uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam forum there, and, uh, because I really didn't have a lot of, uh, stuff to do at the time. But, eventually I found a topic called Create a Gundam, which was very fun for me. What I did was I just created random mobile suits and... Oddly enough, they just started to tell a story when I started to link the pilots together and put them in the different timelines and combine them together, and that would eventually become the basis for the story of the RP. It was actually thanks to one of my friends, uh, his username is Paptima Shirako. Uh, I have thanked him before, and I, I hope that he gets to see this too, because this is a shout out to him. But he inspired me because. He PM me. Uh, he sent me a personal mes message saying, "He's like, dude, have you ever used these guys in RP?" I'm like, "No." It's like, because he's like, "Cause these guys are like freaking awesome." I was like, "I never thought about it before, but I think I'll do that." So I started up the RP, and and when I say RP, I mean role play, as in not like nerdy something like Dungeons and Dragons or like Final Fantasy. No, I mean a story, basically, a story that's written by multiple people as in roleplay. Not a game. It's more or less just a story written by multiple people over a period of time, using the persona of different characters. Whew. Now, it really did just start out as a small idea. Just some people didn't really uh, follow through with actually going on to the RP back in Koei Warriors, but Thankfully enough, I was able to keep at least <laughs> at least four other people. One of them did drop out of, after an altercation with one of the other members, <laughs> even though he he wasn't really that good at it anyway. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, it, but it didn't really matter. We were still going strong, and uh, the four that did stay, no, the three that did stay, uh, became my co-writers on my website, Mo Mega Productions, and they're still RPing today. They're still working on several other RPEs and working in the writing section. So I'd like to give a, a shout out to my friend Anthony, James, and Chris, both of them going under the uh, titles uh, Blue Armor, uh, Hiro Yui, and Black Chaos, of course. Um, <laughs> all of them are great to work with and uh, I'm happy to have uh, worked with them up until this point and to actually go through the, such a great project. Uh, <laughs> but enough of this, I have to go through the story now. Now what it started out was uh, centered around uh, several characters called uh, God Types. Basically it's the uh, final evolution of uh, humanity. Basically if the new type is the next stage, what would be the final type? So god type, the closest to the god particle which created humanity. Basically these are like the uber, these are like the uh, uber strong, as you would know, basically having god in their name. They mostly influence the uh, storyline, but they don't really do a lot in much of fighting nor the normal characters as a story. They mostly just move the story along in a single, uh, single direction. Most of the fighting comes from the actual characters from the Gundam series, like Amuro, Rei, Domon Kashu, Kiri Yamato, Hiro Yui, and all the rest of them, as well as several other created characters that were made by my by my staff and by members of my site, as well as those from uh, Koei Warriors, the ones that actually did follow through. And basically what we did was just create a story based on everyone's actions, just 
take a look at what they write and react to it. It's it was very it's very simple, straightforward, and I would recommend to anyone uh, who wanted to join up to join as soon as possible or to to at least uh, read it from time to time. It's a good read. And uh, boy, the storyline really doesn't have a fit model. Basically, it just goes from like one chapter to another, or it might have one storyline that's spread out through the uh, through the length of multiple chapters. Like, for example, the very first chapter was just an introduction, really, and it would get everyone together. While the second chapter would be a completely different storyline from that one, or with three, four. 5, 6, and 7, and 8, basically it was all a string together storyline that started from chapter 3 and is going to end with the final chapter. Well, that's it for me. This is the final part. This is the I'm Omega Writer 1, and I'll be seeing you later.